Welcome, this is Lance. Uh, you guys better know me as Craft Farmer. The purpose of this video is to give you a demonstration on how to install the whip kits that I designed for you. And they were born out of all of the questions that I get from you guys on the daily, how I do my irrigation systems, how I build them, and how to properly install them. And trying to answer all those questions, I came up with this easy to install kit for you. It's a DIY uh, setup, and we're gonna jump right into it. Step one is gonna be the manifold kit. Comes with a shutoff valve, two T's. One T, send your manifold to the left and to the right. Another T, so you can have a spigot that comes with your kit. And then of course, the kit comes with the two elbows, which your whip kits will then glue into. We have two three quarter inch whip kits, which come with all of the parts needed to do the whip and your whole bench. I'm gonna measure this. This is gonna tell me I want to mount my whips at 48 inches and then we're gonna go 66 off the ground. Again, I'm gonna measure so these are nice and even and symmetrical. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my whip kit here. I'm just gonna start with getting my brackets mounted here. There we go. Here I'm mounting my manifold. I'm just gonna throw a screw just to get this held for us. Okay, so I'm gonna set that there. I'm gonna grab a flathead screwdriver. I'll tighten this. Get this cut. So we have our two other parts from our manifold kit. I like to get all the excess. Do a nice little run around there. Now I'm gonna put this on here. I twist it to make sure I get a good glue joint. And then I'm gonna do the same for my other side. We're gonna go ahead and open our kit and see what we have here. We're gonna take the parts out. We have a flush valve for our table, Netafim T's, got our Netafim elbows, and then the rest is all of our kit part filters, our electronic valve. Here's our table fittings for the banjo clamp in the back. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've pre-assembled as much of these parts for you, wrapped them in a really good Teflon tape, just trying to make sure that there's no problems or issues. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my pliers and I'm gonna make sure that all of this stuff is nice and tight, which you're gonna do the same thing. Here's our Netafin part, we're gonna tighten that. Here's our valve. It's very important when you're gluing this valve that you pay attention to the direction. These are directional and you need to glue them the right way. As you can see, in the front of this, there's an arrow. Always make sure your, your valve is at the bottom of the flow. So our flow is coming down. This would be incorrect. So I supply all your fittings for you. The first piece is the elbow, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue all these together for you. You'll see how I get really nice, clean glue joints on all my fittings. Put some glue in there. A little glue right here. I'm gonna very carefully put this in. Spin this. Carefully let that dry. I'm just looking for that gloss to kind of come off there so, so that'll dry. Our next glue joint is gonna be this. I like twisting this so you don't see the writing on the pipe. No dripping or anything, so I'm happy with that one. I'm gonna come over here to the next one. Get in here, hit that, carefully remove it. All these are cut to the same length, pre-cut for you, so the whole thing looks really nice and clean. Make sure you're gluing this together in the right direction so you don't have to remove this and flip them, which will, which can happen if you're not paying enough attention. Glue that, glue that. I'm gonna make sure this is nice. So I'm gonna think about this and be methodical how I glue this. So depending on how I wanna access my filter will be how I glue this on. I want access to it on the side. All intents and purposes, I'm just gonna wrap this wire for now. Come over here, hit the inside of that, hit the outside of that. So now we're moving to the second part of our kit, which is the table installation. So again, all these pieces uh, come with the kit. Again, I ask that you just tighten everything. I wanna make sure that it's nice and tight for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead just for now and lock the banjo in. What's cool is it's more than just a whip kit. It comes with all of your table parts also, which is really nice. Let that dry for a second, pull this part off. Just 
glue that on. Nice clean glue lines, give this time to set. I'm gonna take the clamp that comes with the kit. And then now, pretty straightforward here, we just gotta hook up our hose. So I'm just gonna look at this hose and I'm gonna cut it to make sure that I have enough roll either way. We do that right here. That's the main part of the kit. So now we're putting in the spigot part of our manifold whip kit. So again, we're gonna spin this so we don't see that letter. I like hiding the writing. And I like turning this so nobody gets caught on it. Go ahead and do our next kit. So here is your finished manifold kit with two three quarter inch powered whip kits. As you can see, it took me about 35, 40 minutes to install it. Very simple. I tried to make it as user friendly for you. Again, your manifold kit comes with a spigot, elbow, T, comes with another T to feed up into your line, and comes with a really nice Schedule 80 shutoff valve and elbows on both quarters. You can easily make this a four station powered whip kit by just adding two more T's where your other tables are. So I've made these kits so you can add on to them easily. Now looking at the three quarter inch powered whip kit, you have your elbow. I cut all these pieces for you so everything is even. Everything's symmetrical down it. Elbow, we have our 24 volt powered hunter valve. What's nice about this is if your solenoid fails, you can pull this right out. And if the body ever fails on these, which I haven't had one yet, you remove these four screws and you can replace it without taking your whip kit apart. We go into our 130 micron filter, which we're gonna clean out every day or every other day. And then we go into our pressure regulator down to our table. The table comes with your unistrut mount, your clamp, and now we have all of our Teflon Netafim connectors so we can arch around the table. And then as you can see here in the back of the table, it comes with an elbow on each side. It comes with a T right here in the middle and it comes with your flush valve. So every time your irrigation kicks on, this flush valve dumps about a quarter gallon of water, cleans out the water in the line and gives your plant fresh nutrients from the tank rather than that old stale water in the line. So now you guys have seen how everything goes together, how the installation happens. Head over to the Shopify store and cut the check.